Admiral Marcus's plan that he explains to Kirk, there's kind of two levels to it. One is he's explaining it to Kirk to get Kirk to do some stuff. But then there's also the, the underhanded thing, which is Admiral Marcus's plan to get the Klingon war begun, started. Does it work? Providence works. Harrison is hiding is uninhabited. Affirmative, sir. Part of our defensive strategy. 31 developed a new photon torpedo. Long range and untraceable. It would be invisible to clean on sensors. Wait, wait, does that, wait. This is a secret meeting. He's talking about right. section 31 long range photon torpedo. Look right. how cavernous this place is. I know. So you got, you got people on different levels that can see what's going on. You got windows yeah, yeah. so people can see what's having, going on. Mm -hmm. The sound is traveling. The only way this makes sense to me is if you can guarantee that there is nobody else in this room. The way you guarantee that there's nobody else in this room is that this room is only for you. This is Marcus's office. I mean, it's possible. It's just the Dang. level of difficulty. <laughs> that's a that's <laughs> this office. It is. You want to talk about corner office? Uh-uh. Like, I have I a, a multi-storied corner. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, yeah, but back to his plan. Let's listen to what he mm -hmm. says. The Klingon sensors. I don't want you hurt, but I want to take him out. You park on the edge of the neutral zone. You lock on to Harrison's position. You fire, you kill him, and you haul ass. So as far as I understand, Kirk is all emotioned up right now, and he wants to go yeah. kill Harrison yeah. because Harrison killed Pike. Pike, Pike, his mentor, his father figure. Mm -hmm. So Kirk doesn't care. He'll just blow up anything to... Yep kill Harrison because he's got like rage on his mind. Vengeance. But vengeance, yeah. So he's being kind of dumb and naive. Mm -hmm. Marcus is exploiting that so that Kirk will fire tor photon torpedoes at the Klingons starting the war. Evil and clever, yeah. He is relying a lot on Kirk's boneheadedness in this situation. There are complications. Like it's uninhabited, this section of Kronos. Like, can we get a Do confirm you know that? on that? Do you know that and it's not? It's not only. Is it, not only is it, is is, Marcus's statement to Kirk that it's uninhabited. It's it's, this portion of Kronos will be uninhabited by the time you get there. Like you don't you don't know if someone's going out for like a hike or whatever. Like you, you don't know that. Right. And when when they, when we actually get there later in the movie, there's like a city. There's like mm -hmm. infrastructure. It's like all kind of falling apart. Ready to rock. Yeah, and. There could be homeless people. There could be vagrants. That's right. There could be That's all kinds right. of people. So mm -hmm. I don't know how they confirm that. Also, Admiral Marcus says that the torpedoes are undetectable. Like, what? How do they? 100%? Do, you, do you have a Klingon? Do you have current ed, current cutting edge Klingon technology that will know that that you could then use to measure to see if these are undetectable? I don't think so. I think they're, so. They're, right. They probably have some intelligence about Klingon sensors, but they have this like. A sh like certainty. you're so sure about it you're sure is yeah the certainty it seems too much S kirk is blowing through these problems left and right there's probably more is yeah kirk gosh heck i mean but spock is also there spock is supposed to be super analytical and he should be dealing with these probabilities saying like saying this portion of chronos is 95 percent on like empty um, this is also blowing past blowing past spock that's right he should have brought this up in the moment right now. Like we shouldn't Maybe be doing this. that's how Marcus got to be Admiral. He's just, he's very convincing. <laughs> he's just a people person going to the top. Yeah. Knows how to charm, knows mm -hmm. the strategy, knows how to pull people's emotional lovers. Mm -hmm. And since he can recognize that a Vulcan is emotionally compromised, even though outwardly stones. So he's manipulating two people in the moment to get his plan done. Marcus, goddamn. That's Starfleet potential right there. That's, <laughs> that's Starfleet talent. That's right. But what did you want to say about the the ostensible mission versus the covert mission? So, okay, yeah. So Admiral Marcus is telling Kirk the mission is to go kill John Harrison, who ends up being Khan. Correct. That's, that's the ostensible mission. Mm -hmm. And then the underhanded mission is Marcus wants to disable Kirk's ship on in on the border of Klingon space and get caught firing torpedoes at the Klingons, mm -hmm. which starts the war. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that's the, the underhanded that's exactly mission. Right. Right. So he's manipulating Kirk and Spock into doing this. So they start a war. Mm -hmm. And then Marcus has the dreadnought ships 
being manufactured mm-hmm. to take right, on the Klingons. Right there, actually, I think. I think right this there, is a super it. secret right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a bottle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's right there. Gosh. Okay, but good strategy, right? Mm-hmm. Marcus pulls it off. He he almost, except for a misjudgment in Kirk's character, he almost pulled it off. Almost pulled it off, yeah. Kirk eventually does second guess himself, but... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but otherwise the plan, uh, man. If Kirk, if Kirk was not emotionally compromised, he really should be seeing some red flags in this plan. It is Seriously, cockamamie. Yeah. It is really it's, it's flying by the seat of your pants, yeah. hoping for everything to just work out. Mm-hmm. 